a club that is surrounded with controversy, robbery, winning international success, winning international success. They've had international success. success. They've won stuff on the international level. It's where we're managing at. KV Mecklen, let's get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. And also, check the description right now. I'm leaving a link down there to the FM Llamas video, The League Lowdown on Belgium, where he goes into a little bit more detail. He's done a lot more research. He's, he's the inspiration of why I picked this team, why I picked this club, why I picked Belgium. Go check that video out in the link. You can you can go even all the way. You can skim through it to get to KV Mecklen and check it out. It's It's got a lot of cool history to it. It's really cool. i got to move Streamlabs over. And you've probably noticed already, I've titled this video a little bit different. This is labeled Episode Zero because it is an introduction to the club because it deserves a full episode, I believe. It's it's definitely going to be a tough go right off the bat for us. Let's look at the let's look at the stuff though. Let's look at some stuff. Some stuff here. The overview of what we have won. We've won the European Cup Winners Cup in 1988. They won the UEFA Super Cup in 1988. They won the league on four separate occasions in 43, 46, 48, and 89. They've won the Belgium Cup. Two separate times in 87 and recently in 2019. Uh, they've won the second division seven separate occasions. Not sure what that one is. They've won it one time. 19. Think, what is this? Okay, that's the second division. They've won the second division seven, seven, separate, seven separate times. That one got me. Can't click that. That's not there anymore. They won that, though. You, you see it. They've won it one time. And you can't click that, but they've won it also. So they've had some rich success. They've had some, some troubled times and controversy. I think it's it's time for us to pull them out and see if we can make them successful again on the international level. I don't know how long it'll last. I don't know if it'll be a hey, we're gonna win the Champions League type of thing. I, I don't I don't know. We've got a lot of stuff to overcome right off the bat, though. Uh it's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be very easy. Let's take a look at the facilities right off the bat as well. So we're playing at this stadium right here. I wanted to kind of look it up, show you guys. Uh, playing there. That's where we're playing. We've got ad adequate corporate facilities. We've got great training facilities, great youth facilities, good academy coaching, and average youth recruitment. We've got to get some of that stuff up. I want to get the average youth recruitment up. We've got to get some good players in. As youngsters, that would be very nice. Looking at the club vision, that wants to play an entertaining football, develop players using our youth system, work within the payroll. I want a mid-table finish. A little bit interesting, and we're going to get into that in just a second. Uh, they want us to reach the seventh round of the, I'm going to call it the Belgium Cup. That's, that's what it's going to be called because you know, it's easier for me. And then the Super Cup is not important to them. So we, we've we've got some work to do. We, we're kind of thin on the money as well. I've spent some. I've already played this save up until the start of the season. That way, after I get done doing the intro, I can go ahead and go over, you know, just move on over but yeah the reason why i titled it zero is just so it kind of lets you know that hey this is not the really the start of the series it's just a little bit of an intro to the club and uh i think that's just the best way we're going to do stuff going forward and even with the with the journeyman i'll probably label that first initial job hunt episode zero i think that's the best thing i think it's just the best thing to do just so it's a little bit easier for people to figure out like hey okay he's just introduction introducing the club in this one and uh We'll get going in the next episode. That's that. That sounds like a pretty good idea. I have done some stuff. Done some stuff. I've made some signings. I've done. I've sold some players. I, I don't know if it's going to work or not. And I'm 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 really scared for this season. The media prediction here says we have an eighth place prediction, which sounds good. I would be thrilled with that. Absolutely thrilled with it. That would be higher than mid table. I mean, that would be right at mid-table. One spot. I mean, I'd be thrilled with it. But if you look at the season preview, hold the phone. Got us predicted finishing 18. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Definitely going to be tough. We've done some stuff also in transfers. I'll go over that before we actually get into the team, just because it's a little bit easier. We sold Von Dom for 1.5 to Gink. Uh, he was a center back option, defensive mid option. We've got a player really similar to him. So when they came in for the bid for 1.5, I was like, yeah, we'll take that. Nikolai Storm sold him for 80, 
825,000 contract was up at the end of the season. So I said, Hey, okay, that's fine. I don't really plan on using you that much. And then the 34 year old Onan Kiai, 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 we sold him as well. It doesn't matter. He's out of the club. Sold him rather cheaply for one for 145,000, but we spent some money. We did spend some money. Up first, I brought in Andy Kawaya for 650,000. Uh, he was playing in Spain, fairly ambitious player. He's got really good speed, really good pace. He's got some technical abilities that I like. Some of his stuff is not, he's not a very, he's not an aerial player at all with three heading. Very not, he's not defensive. He is strictly going forward. He's going to be playing a lot for us. So he's valued at 1.4. He actually played for KV Mecklen back in 2017, 2018. And we brought him back for 650,000. I think that's a good bit of business. A player that we used at Darby County, kind of. We loaned him in and I think we played him like twice. I really like this guy in, in terms of like, clubs at this stature because you can sign him relatively cheap and then move him on for bigger money uh, we brought in max norman williamson two and a half star player four and a half star potential 17 year old player and this is where we're going to start talking about our transfer restrictions that we're imposing on ourselves this year we're only signing belgian players or or players that can become trained in the nation which is max norman williamson here uh, big lad at 17 six foot three gotta work on his strength a little bit he's but he's he's, he's definitely a project that I think we can actually use. I think he's going to be a good player this year. For He's going to be a player that we can use this year and develop this year into a really good player in the future. And then Andy Koshi, another young player that I purchased, two-star player, five-star potential, purchased him from Circle Bruges for 725000 So we spent the money on the youngsters this year, which I think that's what we're going to have to do because I looked at some of the players that uh, that want to come to the club, and they're just not really... It's like you're swapping players out. Like if you sell somebody and you bring somebody in, you're just swapping a player out on, on terms of current ability. I, I think we've got, I think we're going to have to work on building up the youth to get to where we want to be in the future. So that's that's good news. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with these three signings that we got. I think they can definitely help out the club in the future. Looking at the club info, we got Rob Schuess is our captain this year. He's a central mid player, defensive mid player, attacking mid player. He can do it all. Three and a half star player, three and a half star potential ability, a resolute personality, good determination. Good leadership. I think he's going to be a pretty good captain for us. Uh, he's played here for a couple seasons now. So I'm excited about that. Up next, our vice captain. He's already hurt. Stephen DeFour, he is 32 years old. Four-star player, four-star potential. I'm ready to get him back because I think he's going to be a huge player for us for the future. He's a Belgian legend with 52 caps. My, oh, my. It's his first season here as well, and he picks up an injury right off the bat. Bad news for him. And then our hot prospect, we've done discussed once, Max Norman Williamson. There's the kits, lovely kits. Our stadium is was built in 1911. Good capacity or good stadium condition. The capacity is at 17,500. So we got some work to do. I want to take a look at the stadium. I want to take a look at it. We're going to actually take a look at it right. Well, here it is, the AFAS Stadium in Mecklen. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I mean, from the outside, I did notice over here. Go back here. This is where I actually spawned in here on Google Maps, right next to the cemetery. So they're 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 quiet fans. They're very quiet. Make it, they're not very loud at all. Uh, it looks like a lovely stadium from the outside. It's it's kind of hard to move around. It looks like there is some construction going on at the time of Google Maps being here. So there we go. There is the outside look of it. I wanna I wanna see if I can do this. I don't want to do that. Okay, I want to bring this back because we can actually drop our guy in the stadium. I'm terrible with Google Maps. What just happened? Who done it? What did you guys just click? Break it? Okay, this is what I wanted. There we go. We're back here. So we can actually take a look, and I actually like this view right here. Go ahead and collapse that. Uh, it's a view from inside the stadium during a match. It's definitely an interesting style. I like it, though. It's, it's pretty cool. It is definitely pretty cool. you got some... Some fans back here. This guy right here, he looks like he's having a great time. Absolutely thrilled out there. But yeah, that's that's the stadium. I think it's I think it should be fun. I heard my dogs making some noise. I don't know what that was. That was a little bit crazy. But yeah, I think we're gonna have a good time here in Belgium playing here at the AA, AFAS Stadium. That's what I'm gonna call it. I don't know if that's that's what it that's what it looked like to me. But uh yeah, I definitely like the like the curvature right here of the stands i think that's pretty cool i do i think that's pretty cool there is the construction going on in the background and if we can actually 
Can we go? I don't want to do that. Why you want me? It's the same. I'm sorry, I'm having to kind of look at the. There was another view of the stadium that I actually wanted. Google Maps is dead. I didn't want to. Yep, I crashed Google Maps. I apologize. It's dead. What has happened? That's the stadium. Well, I know you guys have been waiting for this. I'm the to struggle pronouncing that. Let's get into it. Uh, one thing I do want to note before we actually take a look at some players is I have sold this guy. Lucas he is leaving on the 15th of August, so he won't be here very long. He's going to be leaving the club as well. Another player that I have sold. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. Steven DeFore, we've already discussed him. He's injured right now. We'll, we'll go into that a little bit later. Uh, he's he's going to be a key player for us. Back from his Victor Wernerson, a left-back option, three-and-a-half-star player, four-star potential, 25-year-old Swedish international, play anywhere on that left-hand side, and that's where we're going to play him. Uh, kind of excited about him. I think he's going to be a pretty good player for us. Up, up next, we got another Swedish international in Gustav. In, in Gustav. we got Gustav here, a three-and-a-half-star player, four-star striking option, and uh, he's just really well-balanced. I mean, his personality is balanced. Just balanced. That's what we say about him. Uh, kind of kind of ready to see what he can do. Karim up next. Three and a half star player. Three and a half star potential. Play on the right wing. Play as a number 10 for us. Uh, first year here. Excited to see what he can do for us. Marion Chaved. Boned in from Celtic. Three and a half star player. Four star right wing option. Ready to see him. Let's let's see all the guys. Player that I'm really disappointed for. Aster. I wanted to play with him. But uh, he's joining Wolfsburg. It, it's updated. Not. There was a question on Twitter about it. He is le leaving the club next year, so we will have one good season with him. Kind of. He's banged up, so he will, he'll be missing the start of the season. Uh, Jordy is up next. Three and a half star player, four star potential Belgian player. That's a defensive mid option, center back option. He can actually play center back. I'm happy about that because he's six three. He's a pretty big lad, so definitely think he'll have an option there for us. And one of the players that I did bring in, I think we haven't discussed the players that I've brought in yet. Andy Kawaya, uh, I brought him in for six hundred fifty thousand. If I if I didn't go over it, transfers, he came in. Uh, excited to see what he can do. Excited to see what he can do. Valued at one point four. He's a former player at the club already. Uh, definitely, definitely a very quick player with sixteen acceleration, sixteen pace. He can get it going. Ready to see that. Sandy Walsh. Left back, right back option, three and a half star, three and a half star potential ability. I think he's going to be all right. I think he's going to be all right. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited about some of these players. Some of these guys, I mean, there's going to be some overall. There's definitely going to be some overall with the team. There's definitely going to be some overall with the team. Got to look at our transfers because I, I, I don't think I did it. I've recorded this episode. This is actually the second time I've recorded. It. I really didn't like the energy I had in the first one. So uh, if I've already went over this, I apologize. I don't. So. Going into transfers, I think I've discussed it already. Like I said, I've recorded it once. I don't remember exactly what I've discussed and what I haven't so far. Uh, transfer restrictions we're imposing on ourselves. Signing only Belgian players or or players that can become trained in nation and trained at club. So hopefully we can do that. We've sold out Van Dam to Gink for 1.5. Uh, he, he's just an average player. Nikolai Storm, we sold him for 825. Una. Hi, yeah, we sold him for 145000 So those are the three guys that have left the club already. Guys that I have brought in. Andy Koshy from Circle Bruce for $725,000. Uh, future player for his two-star player, five-star potential center mid option. 19-year-old player. Excited to see what the young kid can do. Definitely excited about him. Up next, one of my favorite players. We signed him at Dar Darby. We didn't really use him, but I really like him in this league. I think he's going to be pretty well for us. Max Norman Williamson for 2.1 center back option. Two and a half star, four and a half star potential ability. Uh, you guys can take a pause and look at him. I'm pretty sure I've discussed why I like him in the past. I just think he's a good player. I think he's going to help us out. Then the Andy Kawaii guy, we've looked at him already. He came in as well. So that's that's what we've done. We've done some stuff. We're ready for the season to start. I'm actually on the day that the match starts. We've got our tactics set up. This is what we're going to be using in the first match. Right there. That's the players that I'll probably end up using for this match. I do have another tactic that I'm training in right now as well. And it's just a defensive mid option instead of the attacking mid. So uh, we can use that as well when we have to. 
I'm excited about. It. I think we got a good side. We just got to get through these injuries because there's there's quite a few of them. We got our backup goalkeeper. He's out for two to four months. Stephen DeFore, he's out two to three months with a broken foot at the age of 32. That's not good. Astor's out for five weeks to two months with a torn thigh muscle. And then one of our backup striking options is actually a really good player. Um, he's out for a couple weeks, I think. Yeah, he's out for no, he's out just for a couple of days. He should be back pretty soon. That's good news. Sandy Walsh and Marin Chavette also coming back from injury. Make sure to check out tomorrow's episode. The first matches, my dudes. The first matches. Thank you. I am excited about it. I'm so excited about this Belgium save. It should be a fun time, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Make sure go in the description. Check out FM Llamas go on the lead. It's an it's just a good watch. Just watch the whole video. If you want if you need save ideas, that's the man to go to. He he absolutely kills it every year with those league glowdowns. Make sure to check him out. Leave him a subscribe. Let him know that I sent you. There might be like two people do it, but thank you guys. It's uh it's good stuff over there. If you enjoyed this episode, if you're ready for the save to come out tomorrow, let me know down in the comments by leaving a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, 